Gartenhjelmska Cultural Reserve is now an idyllic enclave of small wooden houses and shows how people lived in Gothenburg in the 16th and 17th century. The Gartenhjelmska House was the grandest wooden house, built in imitation of the stone buildings downtown, known as Lasse i Garten. But why don't we let his wife Ingela tell us more about this remarkable man? Was he a villain or a hero? Opinions differ about my husband's 28-year life, but what fun we had. Lars Garter grew up on a farm called The Street in Unsala. His father was a ship captain and Lars a wastrel who was constantly in and out of trouble. Lars followed his older brother and father's example and went to sea, but came home for his father's funeral and that's when the brothers got into piracy. In 1710 they were granted probate of their father's estate. A buccaneer was commissioned by the king to attack and plunder enemy ships. A bit like today's pirates. But with the main difference that this was sanctioned by the king. Lasse started out with a galleon little hunter. And by the end he had six ships. The ships were manoeuvrable and fast and were crewed of a motley crew of seafarers. A bunch of carefree loafers, officers without money, Adventurers, all with a common belief. Yeah, you know what it's like when women are not around. Lars was aged 21 and an established ship owner who generated a lot of gossip. Today, he would have been in all the magazines. He was plagued early on by congenital tuberculosis, which worsened with every step he took until his need for crutches put an end to his life at sea. In 1711, we got married, although my father objected strongly. The day my daughter gets married to that madman is the day Onsala Church gets two towers. Which just goes to show what a little attention can do. It upset the local gentry when we bought a house in the posh neighbourhood. The famous Swedish envy existed even then. And Lasse Garta was knighted and became Lars Gattenhelm. We were laid to rest in Unsala Church in Italian marble sarcophagi. Originally intended for the King of Denmark, they were cunningly stolen. We disguised ourselves as fishermen and asked if we could cook our fish on the boat because a storm was raging. But instead of fish, we melted lead, which we used to disable the vessel. You make your bed, so you must lie in it. Lars died at home, so I remarried and wrote this down for prosperity. At least I got a cinema in Gothenburg named after me. And I got a street in Huxborough industrial area named after me. 